So we're, we're at the point now that secession takes place and <clears throat> you're raising again, a really interesting point to say, while Virginia is still debating whether to do secession or not. And I think it was even Texas hasn't done it yet. In New Mexico, you have Southerners saying, we want to secede. In California, you have Southerners saying, we want to secede. And I'll maybe try and put the map in from your book because they want to create Colorado territory in, in Southern California and Arizona's in as the Southern part of, um, of New Mexico territory. And in part, the first thing I kind of want to ask you about is that why is no one talking about this in the scholarship? Um, yeah, I guess uh, there, historians have uh, addressed sort of the secessionist element in the Southwest, um, but they usually do it within the framework of an individual state or an individual territory. Um, mm -hmm. So Billy Kaiser's done some really great work on um, secessionism in New Mexico. Um, you know, Leonard Richards, Stacy Smith again on the sort of pro-slavery element in California. Um, but what happens when we sort of take a step back or we pull back the camera uh, and we see the region as a uh, as, a, as a region, not as a collection of individual states and territories. And all of a sudden it looks a lot more chaotic mm -hmm. um, and, and a lot more fractured, uh, I think, than, than sort of the standard narrative would have us believe. Um, and the United States is in danger of coming apart in all sorts of different directions. It obviously comes apart uh, along a north-south fault line, but it, it was in danger, a very real danger of fracturing into multiple republics in the Southwest. Yes. Yeah. 